This is a question for Dr. Wong. This is a question that I think a lot of people have been asking themselves. It's from Sonia Ranson, and she sent this in via email. She wants to know, can you get this virus again multiple times? And if not, how can you be sure? You know, uh, that's uh, we're continuing to learn more and more about this virus, but at the, uh, this time, we do not think uh, that you can get it again, that there, you will get uh, immunity after having the infection. Uh, there's a couple cases that have been uh, cited, but then it's, it's thought that perhaps it was just a uh, sort of a relapse of some of that initial uh, infection. So bottom line, again, we continue to learn more, but we think that uh, you will get immunity after the infection. Thank you, doctor. And this is for Dr. Carlo. This came in via Twitter from Allison Wilson. She says, is it true that the warmer weather will possibly kill this virus? I know that's, a, that's on a lot of people's mind. We've heard the president actually to say that earlier on? Well, you know, I, I think the answer is we don't know. Uh, you know, the, the seasonal pattern for, you know, flu is really the influenza virus. It's not the coronavirus. So while warmer weather may do some things in terms of, you know, the schools being out more frequently and in how we change kind of our social atmosphere, that may be a factor. But I, I don't think we can say with certainty that the coronavirus would go away just because of the, the warmer weather or the more humid uh, conditions. Okay, thank you. Do we have time for one more question here? Okay, this is from Misty White. Let's go to Dr. V in Fort Worth. Uh, Misty says, are certain blood types more resistant to this virus than other types? Yeah, so there's been some interesting literature coming out uh, from the Chinese that are looking at specific blood types. Um, as Dr. Carlo mentioned, this is a novel virus, and we are learning more about it every hour of every day. Um, and so right now, I don't think there's anything definitive to say that one one group is more or less susceptible, but there's there's some the beginnings of some research pointing in that direction, and uh, time and more information as it comes to light, we'll be able to have a better answer to that. Okay, thank you. Great questions, North Texas. Please keep them coming. We'll be right back.